Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today's video is my body routine video. What's a body routine? Basically, it's just all the products that I use on my body. I get a lot of questions about what shaver do you use? What lotion do you use? What tanner do you use? What scrub do you use? So um, I'm just gonna answer all of those questions in this video right here, folks. Now this is not a hair routine video or a skincare routine video. Those are gonna be separate videos because if I included all of that into this video, it would just be way too long. So I've decided to split them up into different videos. So please subscribe if you want to see those videos because they will be coming up in the next couple months. This video is not sponsored. I just wanna go ahead and say that. But you can find all the links to the products in the description box. There should be a couple discount codes. I'm gonna try and contact some of the brands to see if they can give you guys a discount code. So uh, definitely check the description box to see if I pulled through. Let's start talking about what I put on my body to get my skin like this. Now for my washcloth, I like to use my Asian grandma towel. I honestly have no idea what it's actually called, but I know for a fact that every Asian grandmother has this towel in their shower. It just scrubs the shit out of your body. When I go to the Korean spa for my body scrubs, that's the towel that they use. So you know that it's serious business. I don't rub my skin as hard as they do in the Korean spa, but it definitely makes my skin feel um, better less clogged. I like to concentrate scrubbing on my back because I feel like that's where most of my buildup lies because of the hair products and the sweat and oil. So that's where I concentrate, my back and my chest. Now for some of you, this shower towel might actually be too harsh for your skin. That being said, I don't really like to use washcloths because I feel like it doesn't give me a good enough clean. So I would recommend using a body brush like my Spin for Perfect Skin Body Brush. This brush gently spins to exfoliate and lifts dirt and oil from your pores. I like to use it on my body, but there are also facial attachments if you've been looking for a face scrub. This body brush is already pretty affordable, but uh, there is a 70% off discount. If you're interested in that, I'm gonna link all that information in the description box. So I, bas I think it basically comes out to like 20 bucks. Now for soaps, I like my raw sugar soap. I've been a huge fan of raw sugar for a while now. And obviously I've used this guy to the bone. So here's this brand spanking new one and this is what it actually looks like when it's not used. I also have their body wash. The thing about raw sugar is that their products are processed through this cold press technology. So it's similar to the cold press juices that you drink. So it just basically keeps the good stuff in. Next, for shaving. Now, full disclosure and maybe a little TMI, I am currently in the process of getting laser hair removal. Bloop, 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 bloop. I've already done it under my arms and in my <laughs> female area, but I need to do it on my legs now. But until I'm finished with that, this is my routine for shaving. In terms of shaving cream, I don't really use shaving cream. I think it's a waste of money. I use conditioners that I just don't like. They don't do anything for my hair, so I repurpose them for shaving purposes. It's highly moisturizing. And for a razor, I like to use Gillette Fusion uh, from the men's section. Why men's razors have more blades than women's razors is beyond me, but I just really like using razors with four blades. So once you're done scrubbing your body and shaving, what's next? Moisturizer, my favorite part. So I have three moisturizers that I really, really love. Shea Moisture's Raw Shea Butter has been a favorite of mine for years. I get this at Target in the baby section, I believe. It deeply moisturizes and rejuvenates skin with vitamins and essential fatty acids. Let it sink in all night and it is the most incredible feeling in the world. Now the next moisturizer is actually an oil and I only use this you know when you like get out of the shower and you just got done shaving and, and then you get cold or something and your legs feel prickly and the feeling is just really gross? I can't be the only one that happens to, right? That's when I use this oil. Mentally, I feel like oil makes my skin feel better. Not sure if that's a fact, but with the spray bottle, it evenly distributes and deeply moisturizes. 
um, my skin and gives off a really great healthy glow. You can also use this product on your hair as well. I haven't done that because my hair tends to get oily so I try to stay away from oils with my hair. But I do have to say that this has a really beautiful rose scent, though it is very strong. So if you don't like the scent of rose or if you like um, products that have a more mild scent, I would probably stay away from this one. But my all time favorite body lotion in the world is Raw Sugar's Body Butter. I've been a fan, again, of Raw Sugar for a really long time and this is my third bottle of body butter. I am obsessed. This lotion itself is very luxurious, incredibly thick, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky and the smell is amazing. Every time someone comes over and uses it for the first time, they always ask me where I got it because they end up buying it the next day. They love it. Another thing I like about raw sugar that I didn't mention before is that every time you purchase a product from raw sugar, they actually donate a bar of soap to a person in need. Everyone asks, how do you keep your teeth so white? Honestly, I don't do anything special, people. I just brush my teeth. I don't like teeth whitening products because I feel like it makes my teeth really, really sensitive to where when I breathe in sometimes, my teeth start to hurt. So I just avoid using teeth whitening products now. Don't do it. But for brushing, I use Tom's of Maine. I just like this brand because it has no artificial colors or flavors or fragrances preservatives, animal ingredients, or hasn't done animal testing. Also, I don't know if you saw my video about how to get flawless skin. I'll link that over here as well. Ooh, I think I'm wearing the same top. That's kind of embarrassing. But uh, if you're prone to breakouts around your mouth, I would definitely recommend using this toothpaste because my girlfriend, um, had breakouts all over mouth and then switched over and they disappeared. Sometimes it's just certain ingredients that cause you to break out. So if you break out, tend to break out around your mouth, try to change your toothpaste to something more natural. All right guys, I think that's it. I think I've covered all the products I use for my body. I know this video has a lot of personal and product information in it so you might feel like you're a little overloaded right now with information, so again, all the products I talked about are going to be in the description box of this video so you can check it out. My hair care routine, my morning and night skincare routine, and a workout routine video are in the works. So don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed to stay up to date as to when those videos are going to be uploaded. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Asia Dang and I will see you guys next time. Bye.